हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैड स्टार्टेड विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ हफमैन कोडिंग प्रोसीजर वेर इन दैट प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव डिस्कस्ड विद द स्टेप्स रिलेटेड टू बी सॉल्विंग हफमैन कोडिंग एंड टू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एग्जाम्पल प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम द एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ओके प्लीज 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 माई हम्बल रिक्वेस्ट टू यू गाइस इज दोज हैव नॉट वॉच दैट वीडियो go and watch it okay because in that i have told you in detail each minor step to calculate huffman coding in a very easy manner in a understandable manner go and watch it guys okay it would be beneficial for you guys only go and watch that video and in this video also we am going to be solving two different kinds of problems of huffman coding where there are high chances that they might be asking in the exam point of view, in the exam as well so let us see that now so the question number 3 that is the third problem under huffman coding that is the first problem of this video we have given it as for a given zero memory source construct the binary huffman coding by the giving given two cases here okay they have given two cases the two cases they have given here are case 1 by moving the composite symbol as high as possible case 2 by moving the composite symbol as low as possible the case 1 is same as whatever we have solved previously it remains the same but case 2 is different okay we would be getting the huffman coding structure in a different way how it is different i'll let you know in the problem and they have also told you in each case find the efficiency and redundancy okay so this is the table list we have given the symbols here they have given five symbols with the five different probabilities which are already given in descending order so no need to be writing in descending again 0.4.2.2.1.1 okay start with the case 1 case 1 as i've told you composite symbol as high as possible it remains the same as previously so no need to stress at that so again descending order you write it least two probabilities added and uh, in the next sequence if you write what do you mean by as high as possible after i'll tell you as i've told you right whatever the answer you get after adding that probability in the next sequence should be written in the should be given the highest priority right so that's why after point 4 we are having already a point 2 value that you should not be writing first you should be writing whatever the value you get after adding right so that's why you are getting point 2 again that should be written first followed by this so that is called as composite symbol as high as possible whereas for as low as possible we should be writing the value of added symbol after all the uh, probabilities are there that is here we are getting point 2 but already we are having these two point 2 uh, probabilities so after that you should be writing this okay in the sequence so that is meant by the by moving the composite symbols as high as possible and as low as possible okay it is clear right so now let us see that now so this is clear it is arranged now again these two are added up and they are written is that is 0.2 plus 0.2 that is 0.4 we are already having a 0.4 but this value should be given priority first so that's why this 0.4 is kept first followed by this 0.4 and this 0.2 again these two are getting added up we are getting 0.6 it is obviously greater than 0.4 so that should be written first then 0.4 now we are left with only two probabilities assign the codes for that that is 0 and 1 and this should be written for all of the uh, added values that is 0 1 0 1 zero, 1 in the msp bit for all of them first after that assign the code words based on the answers for each added values that is 0.6 result we are getting by adding 0.4 and 0.2 and the code word for this 0.6 is 0 that should be written in the written in the prefix part so for these two 0 0 are getting added and the final code word is 0 0 and 0 1 and this one as it is then now point 4 here the result is getting added uh, the result we are getting by adding these two and the code word for this is 1 so add 1 here and the new code word formed is 10 and 11 and these two for the previous values keep the code words same as the previous stage that is point uh, 01 and 00 and now this point 2 is getting uh, the result by adding these two values of point 1 so the code word generated to point 2 is uh, 01 that you need to be uh, prefixing for these two values of point 1 that is the new code word generated now is 010 and 011 and the previous code words for the previous probabilities are kept as it is that is 11 1000 
like this we have got the all the code words that you put it in the table as i've told you probabilities in descending order the code words the length of the code word and the probability into length pklk so that you could be calculating the average length average length is calculated by adding all these probabilities uh, 0 0.8 plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3 we are getting the value of average length as 2.2 now calculate the entropy so that you could be calculating efficiency entropy is given by h of s is equal to summation of k equal to 1 to 5 pk log base to 1 by pk and uh, uh, probabilities are mentioned here put the probabilities and get the entropy value so split the summation and uh, solve it and we are getting the value as 2.12 bits per message symbol as entropy now efficiency in eta is calculated as h of s divided by l into 100 h of s and l are already calculated substitute it and we are getting the value of neta here as 96.3 percent and redundancy as 1 minus neta 1 1 minus 0 0.963 that is 0 0.037 percent or 3.7 percent okay so like this you should be calculating this is the first case now the second case by keeping the composite uh, value as low as possible okay in the same thing but the Huffman coding algorithm changes here okay how it changes as I've told you you see here case 2 again the same thing whatever the probabilities are there keep it as it is and uh, the adding part also remains the same you see here last two probabilities are added 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 now here the answer is 0 0.2 but you should be giving that the lowest preference okay so that's why here already we are having 0 0.2 right that you write it first then after that you write this 0 0.2 here okay you should not be giving the highest preference you should be giving it the lowest preference so that's why i have written it here followed by these three probabilities which are there in the beginning only now again 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 is 0 0.4 but already we are having one 0.4 after that you need to be writing this 0 0.4 here followed by 0 0.2 0.4 plus 0.2 is 0.6 it is obviously greater than 0.4 so that's why this is kept as it is okay and like this the structure is structure varies for these two cases now rest of the thing remains as it is assigning the code word again the code word also would be getting changed don't think that code word remains the same in both the cases code word also gets changed okay you see here 0 1 for all the added terms first you write it then the resultant code word is getting added with the in which two terms they are getting uh, added up that is here uh, is 0 0.6 code word is 0 and for these two that code word is added in the prefix side so it would be 0, 0, 0, 0001 this code word remains the same 0 0.4 code word is 0, 0 this would be getting prefixed with these two values that is 0, 0, 0, 0. so 0, 0, 0 and 0, 0, 0001 are the new code words previous code words as it is and here this point 0.2 has the code word 001 this would be getting prefixed for these two values that is 001 001 so the new code words are 0010 0011 and the previous code words that is 0001 and 1 are kept as it is okay like this the all the code words are generated for the probabilities list it down here for point 0.4 it is 1 point 0.2 it is 01 point 0.2 it is 000 0.1 it is 0010, 0 0.1 it is 0011 along with the length of the code word and the average length that is PKLK by multiplying the probabilities and length of the code word. So now add all this uh, to get the average length you would be getting 2.2. Now take the entropy of this you would be getting a H of S as a summation of K equal to 1 to 5 PK log 2 log base 2 div, uh, into 1 by PK and uh, solve it okay so split it and solve it and we would be getting uh, the answer for this as 2.11 bits per message symbol okay so th this this striking off i have just corrected it because initially i had written wrong so these are the actual probabilities you would be getting by split uh, by if you solve separately these terms okay so like this you would be getting the answers solve it you would be getting 2.11 bits per message symbol as the entropy and uh, put it in the efficiency equation that is uh, h of s by l into 100 2.11 divided by 2.2 into 100 we are getting the efficiency as 9.6 and the redundancy as 4% okay so this is one kind of problem now one more kind of problem where Huffman coding is done in two forms one is binary and ternary coding okay so this 
chances of asking ternary coding are very less but the factor of alpha comes into the picture of ternary coding so that's why i thought to solve this kind of problem as well but i guess they won't be asking in the exam but still i thought to solve this problem so yeah let us solve it now the binary part i guess uh, it's not required so directly let us move to the ternary part okay binary coding uh, it is the procedure remains the same uh, as i've told you for these many problems so i guess this procedure part is uh, uh, not required again to be telling so that's why let us skip the binary part and let us see with the ternary part so the question goes like this a source code produces six symbols s1 to s6 along with the six probabilities as mentioned again no need to be writing in descending order they have already given it in descending order but don't think that in exam they would be giving in descending order okay here in the in these questions they have given it but in the final exam they might be giving in the random sequence okay so don't don't com confuse it first you should be checking whether the probabilities are in descending order directly go don't go and write it in the exam first write it in the descending order then do the further procedure okay yeah so these are the probabilities assigned let us see for the ternary code for ternary coding it is essential to follow the step 2 of hoffman coding that is to find the value of alpha because mostly for ternary and quaternary coding the alpha value would be decimal value okay so that's why i thought to be solving for alpha just for the safety purpose that is q minus r divided by r minus 1 q is the number of symbols r is the number of code language symbols here in case of ternary coding number of code language symbol is 3 because the ternary stands for 3 so that's why the value of r is 3 whereas uh, in binary coding the num value of r would be 2 right because we are having only 0 and 1 whereas in case of ternary it is 3 how it is 3 i will tell you later so substitute that and see we are getting the value of alpha as 1.5 right which is a decimal value it is not an integer so we should be adding one extra symbol during the Huffman coding procedure okay yeah so now let us get to the Huffman coding part first write all the symbols s1 to s6 and their probabilities in descending order and as the value of alpha is an integer you should be adding one more symbol with the zero probability okay yeah now group the last three terms because we are doing the ternary coding we should be adding the last three terms together and then you should be putting in the new sequence okay so this is the main difference between binary and ternary add these three we are getting 0.05 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 that is 0 0.1 and fit it in the next sequence of descending order giving the highest priority that is 0 0.4 0 0.2 0 0.2 this 0 0.1 is uh, not written first the answer 0.1 is written first then this this 0.1 after that again these three the last three probabilities are added again and uh, the answer we are getting 0.2 plus 0.1 plus 0.1 is 0.4 already we are having 0.4 so that should be written next first the answer whatever we have got we should be writing then this 0.4 and 0.2 now after where we get three probabilities in the binary we should be getting two right but here if you get three probabilities stop it then and there and then assign the binary code words for these three the binary code the ternary code words sorry not binary the ternary code words you should be assigning is 0 1 and 2 okay for ternary this is the next uh, number 2 would be coming in the picture okay so that's why 0 1 2 again the rest of the things remains as it is you see here for each of these these three values add the msb as 0 1 2 okay after that the answer here the is 0.4 and the code word for this is 0 that would be getting added here in these three values of prefixes that is 0 0 0 so that we would be getting new code words 0 0 0 1 0 2 these remain uh, uh, previous code words are kept as it is for 0.2 and 0.4 that is 2 and 1 then again this 0.1 has the code word 0 1 this 0 1 would be uh, should be added in these three terms prefixes that is uh, 0 1 0 1 and 0 1 so the new code words are 0 1 0 0 1 1 and 0 1 2 and the previous code words for the values 0 0.1 that is 0 2 and here we are having 0 uh, the 0 2 and uh, 
this zero zero you keep it as it is this two you keep it as it is and this one you keep it as it is okay like this you would be getting the ternary code words for these probabilities you note it down here you see here for the new probability also there is one code word form okay yeah so now assign that code word whatever is there write the length of the code word and uh, pk lk and rest all the procedure same as it is okay add all of these terms get the length of the code average length after that uh, find the entropy as well pk log base to 1 by pk the probability list are there all seven probabilities you need to be adding separately and we would be getting 2.22 bits per message symbol based on that substitute in the equation of efficiency that is 2.22 divided by 1.5 into 100 the efficiency percentage in case of ternary coding is always greater than 100 okay so here we have got the answer as 148% right and the redundancy is always negative because we are getting efficiency greater than 100 so that's why redundancy would be always obviously negative so here in this case the redundancy is minus 48% okay so this is the difference between binary coding and ternary coding okay we have one more kind of coding that is quaternary coding in that again we should be considering we should be uh, making a group of four that is the code words are 0, 1, 2 and 3. Okay. That is the difference between ternary and quaternary. So yeah. That's all for this video guys. Hope you understood something from this video. If you had understood, please like this video. Subscribe to our channel and keep supporting us. Okay. We'll see you in the next video with some other concepts. Till then, thank you.